G'day guys, how you going? Uh, it's been a minute, it's been a minute, and I must apologise, and the reason it's been so long, I'll explain. Um, Alright, so the last video I did, which I can't even remember how long ago that was, um, I think about the day after that, or it might be done after the day after that, I got man flu. Uh, and I was sick for about three weeks with man flu, it's a real thing people. Um, sick for about three weeks, and then um, believe it or not, my... Oh, I was going to Google how much it was in pounds. My baby girl, Misty, is now 90 kilos, which I don't put in the, in the comments how much that is in pounds. I don't know for those people who use pounds like America and that. Um, she thinks she's an all black now. So I was, <laughs> about two and a half weeks ago, she was asleep on the lounge room floor, and I was walking out the back door. And just as I was about to walk out the back door, she's like, hang on, Dad, I'm coming too. And uh, all 90 kilos of her pushed me straight out the door and I went flying out onto the concrete. I landed with my fist on my ribs and I cracked two of my ribs. And I don't know if you've ever had a cracked rib, but um, bloody hurts. You can't cough, you can't sneeze, it's hard to breathe, you can't lay down properly. Everything hurts, nothing works. Um, so, <laughs> so, yeah, I've not been doing any videos. Now, I want to do a shout out to a, 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 a subscriber. He's, he's a subscriber and he's also a friend of mine on Facebook. And his name is Shannon, Shannon Moreland. Um, and he's got his own YouTube, and I subscribed to his channel this morning. He's got a YouTube channel, and it's called The Little Green House. And uh, he's, he's a top bloke. He, uh, he's a chili head. So for all those chili heads out there, have a look. Um, he just comes across to me as a genuine, genuine, genuinely nice person. And, um, and he's always, you know, checking in to see how I'm doing. So a shout out to you, mate. Um, Shannon Morland, thanks bud, I appreciate you, I really do. And I watched your video that you put on Facebook the other day, uh, I watched it uh, this morning, uh, it was quite long, 20 minutes I think it went for, or 22 minutes, uh, but those, the trio, you did the three chilies, and that was uh, that was stellar mate, well done, top effort, great, great video too, really interesting. Um, now, today I'm going to do hot sauces, right, um, and I'm doing a video for the, for, I'm doing a review for a mate. Um, and when I, I, I'll show you in a second. Anyway, so on the 25th of July, it was my birthday. And I only got one present. And it came from someone I wasn't expecting a present from. Um, I got home from work and there was a package on the front door. And um, I thought, hello, what's this? Anyway, I saw by the, uh, the thing on the front, you know, the, the address and all the stuff. That it came from, and I knew where it came from. It came from Shannon, um, uh, Thomas O'Shaughnessy uh, from uh, Bob by Design Apparel. Now, he sent me two more tops. One, nothing to do with, well, this one first, right? Obviously, to do with chilies, right? For the burn. Oh, was it that one? No, it wasn't that one. It was a different one. Um, so I'll show you in the next video. But there was one in there that's got nothing to do with chilies at all. And I just love it. It's so cool. It's me all over. Can you see that? Zero Fs to give, living my best life, the slop in a hammock. I just think that's so cool. That is so cool. Thanks, mate. I appreciate you. Thanks for the birthday gift. I really mean that. Now, uh, before I do the, the, the sauces, um, I see a lot of YouTubers, um, especially when they go overseas, like to, Europe, uh, to the UK and that, and... They drink a drink that I've always wanted to try because I've always seen it, but I've never tried it. I've never seen it on the shelves. And I was in the supermarket uh, on Monday. It's Wednesday here now. Thursday. It's Thursday here now. Um, I was in the supermarket on Monday, and in the international second section, I saw Iron Brew. Now, I've never had it. I don't know what it tastes like. I know nothing. All I can tell you is it's from Scotland, from Glasgow. Uh, they, they started in 1901. Um... And it's available in most countries. But I've never had it. I don't know what it tastes like. So let me have a try. And I'm going to use this to wash my mouth. Let's have a go at this. I don't know. I'm not, I don't know what to expect. It's either going to be great or shite. Right? So uh, 69p in the UK. Right? Cost me um, $4. 4 New Zealand dollars. So what's that? Two pound? Yep. Anyway. Oh, it smells. It smells good.
It's actually quite nice. Oh, gassy. It's actually quite nice. Iron Brew. There you go, from Scotland. Uh, I don't really need to tell you anything about it. I mean, you probably can find it on your shelves in your supermarkets where, you're, where you guys are from. Iron Brew. Anyway, there you go. So, <coughs> that's that done. Oh, that's actually quite nice. Another little sip of that. Mm. Tastes a bit like, I'm trying to think what it tastes like. It's got a flavour of something I can think of, but I don't think what it is. Sorry, not something I can think of. Something I've, I've, I've tasted before, but I can't think of what it is. It's actually quite good. Right, eh? Right, eh? Lee, this is for you, brother. So, Lee's a friend of mine. He's a chili head. He used to work in the uh, music industry. He's travelled the world with some of the biggest bands in the world. Anyway, he got out of that about four years ago. Um, retired from it all. And decided to go into growing chilies and making hot sauces. I think he did a good thing. Now, freeze your... Uh, whoops, hang on. Freeze your screen so you can take a screenshot of that. All right? Chili's NZ. The guy's name's Lee. Lee Grimshaw. He's a good friend of mine. Now, I've got, he's got several sources. I think there's about eight or ten different sources he's got. I could be wrong. But I've got three of them here. Uh, the first one I'm going to do is uh, the Chili Mato hot sauce. Chili Mato, so tomato sauce. Um, getting old. Getting old and struggling to read. Uh, ingredients, roasted tomatoes, onions, chocolate, habanero chilies, garlic, apple cider vinegar, brown sugar, water, lime, rock salt, herbs and spices. Oh, wow. Well. Shake well. Uh, shake well. Please refrigerate after opening. Um, all the nutritional information's on there. It's a 150ml bottle. It's a good, it's a nice thin sauce by the look of it. Right, let's open her up. Chili Marto. <laughs> I like it. Ah, of course, I'm going to struggle, aren't I? There's a little edge on these, and I just can never find it. I should have. I didn't even bring a knife over with me because I'm not doing a chili. Um, oh, and to answer um, Shannon Morland's uh, question, he asked me if the end it was the end of chili season over here. Yeah, we're at, um, in fact, it's it's so far the end of the chilli season that had me the growers have started um, started their new um, seedlings. So um, we're coming into spring now. Righto, uh, chilies NZ, the chili mato hot sauce. Oh, hear that pop? Oh, it smells good. Now I've got no tolerance for heat. Um, in saying that, I've got a I've got a pot of pasta sauce on at the moment with um, what's in it? Two, I think there's two dragon breaths in there. Yeah. So, alright, oh, it's I can smell the heat. I can smell the habos in it. You can definitely smell habos. Oh, that smells really good actually. It's almost got a sweet smell to it. Actually, it's not as thin as I thought. It's actually a really nice consistency that. Very much the same as tomato sauce or ketchup. Cheers. Mmm. Almost tastes like it's got honey in it. Did I, did I say honey? Because it almost tastes like it's got honey in it. Um, no, no, brown sugar, that's what it is. Gee, that's actually cool. Now, non chili heads. Um, that's got a kick to it. I'm a chilli head, but my tolerance is no, I've got no tolerance at all. So I can taste the heat. Um, beautiful. Really nice after flavour. I'll have a second. You know what I'm like. Always got to have that second spoon. Now, oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's beautiful. Chilli mato. I'm glad I've opened it. Now I can use it. Chili Mato. Alright. By Chili's NZ. I'll rinse my mouth. Ooh, that's got a really, really it's got a lasting after flavour. The habanero, you can definitely get it. It's sticking with it. Uh, Lee does ship all over New Zealand. Um, and I'm pretty sure you're sent to Australia as well. Uh, America, I'm not sure. UK, I'm not sure. But 
his his email address and everything again is on here right and you could email him uh, to find out um, if he can. I'm sure he can. I'll just read that. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I've got that. I'm going to buy that again. Right, eh? What do we got? This is the Caribbean mango hot sauce. Caribbean mango hot sauce. How good. I love a hot sauce, eh? I love a hot sauce. Um, and I'm so sorry, guys, that I haven't been posting. Ingredients. Mango pulp. Bell peppers, or capsicums, we call them here. But he calls it, he put them bell peppers on there, so that's good. Apple cider vinegar. Honey. Oh, this one's got honey in it. Water. Super hot chilies. Oh, it doesn't say what sort. Oh, that's interesting. Super hot, where's I up to? Super hot chilies. Onion, garlic, lime, rock salt, ginger. Mustard cumin, curry powder, turmeric, garam masala, coriander, allspice, nutmeg, oh, holy crap. Wow. Okay. Oh, that sounds, I've not tried, so I've not tried the chili mato, I've not tried the uh, uh, Caribbean mango before. At the chili festival, I had a little bit on a wooden, on a wooden thing, taster, of the sriracha. I can't wait to open that. I'll do the review so that I can actually start to use it. Right, give it a good shake. And struggle to open it. Because that's, you know, what I do. Because I'm a... Uh, I actually miss doing videos, guys. I miss doing videos. Um, if there's anything you want to see me do in a video, let me know. Put it in the comments. Like any particular thing you want me to see if I can find, source... I'm thinking about changing my channel a little bit in that not just doing chilies uh, and chili sauces, but doing other stuff too. If I did, um, I did start doing other stuff like um, like those giant pickles and stuff. And uh, I've done the durian fruit. That's a, I've got a video about on here. The smelliest fruit in the world. I did the um, fermented duck eggs, the century eggs. Oh, don't gross. Righto. This is the Caribbean mango hot sauce. Oh, it's got a stopper. Pardon me. Oh, that's that iron brew. She's got a bit of gas in her. Oh, it smells. I'm taking a stopper out. Sorry, Lee. Oh, should I? Yeah, I will. I'll take that. Oh, that's good. There you go. Take that off. Oh, it smells fruity. Oh, that smells so good. <laughs> um, to be fair, I've not been having uh, hot sauces or anything lately. Um, I have been putting chili super hot because I've got a freezer full of chili hots. Uh, chili hots. Super hots. And I put them always in my food. But my tolerance is very low. Very low. Alright. I'll do that pour up here a bit. About the same thickness as the chili mato. Oh. No way. Right, oh. Alright. Straight away, got coriander, got um, turmeric, got the garam masala. Can taste it all. I eat a lot of curries. That is absolutely stunning. Right, it smells good. It actually smells. Smells like my kitchen on on a on a curry on a, a slow cooked curry day. That's beautiful. Oh, that's just stunning. That's got a good heat to it too. That's um, non chili head one to five. That's a four. Nah, three. Oh, oui. Caribbean mango hot sauce. That is a stunner. I'm going to put the cap back in there. Ooh. Oh, giving me a bit of burn in the back of the throat. A little bit of lip burn. Um, I'd love to know, and I will speak to Lee. I'll give him a phone call later and see what chilies, what super hots he's put in there. Because he put super hots in that, I can tell. I've got a bead. Going. Oh, no, I haven't. I thought I did. All right. Mm. I'll stay with that for a minute before I I am brew it down. Mmm. That's actually quite good. Oh, right. Okay. This is the one I've been waiting for. Now, he told me about this sriracha. 
20 or so years ago. He was over, uh, he was over seas, and he went into this little village where he had, um, where they made sriracha. And uh, he's tried to replicate that recipe. He said it's the most authentic sriracha sauce he'd ever tasted in his life. So this is chilies, white vinegar, garlic, sugar, fish sauce, and salt. Uh, contains fish, right? Now, sriracha is basically chilies and chilies and garlic. So this is going to be this is so good. I still, even after I rinse my mouth, I'm still getting a burn from that last one, that uh, Caribbean or Caribbean um, mango, which has got a beautiful flavour to it. Anyone in New Zealand, if you're after um, hot sauces, um, go onto Lee's um, YouTube, uh, not YouTube, um, I think he's got a Facebook page too, and there's Instagram, I think he's on all the social medias, I should have checked that before I make this video, I suppose, that's pretty bad on my behalf, right, it's got a cap in it too, take that out. Rightio, this is the Chili's Sriracha hot sauce, right? All the information's on the back, all the nutritional information's on the back. He doesn't skimp on that. Now, that's what I was going to say. I'm using a stainless steel spoon, right? And I'm hearing a lot of people saying, oh, you should get a neutral spoon that doesn't have, like, a mate, that doesn't have any, that's got a great consistency to it. The best sriracha sauce I've ever had. That is the best sriracha sauce I've ever had. I'm, I'm just, I had to open it because I had to, I wanted to use it. And I didn't want to use it before I'd done a video. Mmm. Mmm. I could drink that out of the bottle. No worries at all. That, if, if nothing else, if you buy nothing else, buy 20 of these. That is the best sriracha sauce you'll ever try in your life. That is beautiful. And I'm not just saying that because Lee's a friend of mine. I'm saying it because it's true. Um, if I think a sauce is nice, I'll tell you it's nice. If I don't think it's nice, I'll be honest about it. If it hurts someone's feelings, I'm sorry. It is what it is. Um, but I'm not going to bullshit and, and say something good when it's not. I'm drooling from that. That is so... Oh, I've gone in. I should have brought a bigger spoon over. Um, anyway, I'm going to try and get a spoon that's got new... Like a... Um, one made of, um, I think wood you can use, or um, mother of pearl. Oh, that, that is so good. Garlicky. Mm. It's sweet. It's garlicky. I can't even taste the fish sauce. But it adds flavour. And a good flavour too. That's the best sauce I've ever had. Oh, as far as the rations go, that's the best sauce I've ever had. Anyway, guys. So, Chili's NZ, Lee Grimshaw, the guy's an absolute legend, and I can't thank him enough. He sent me those, he didn't sell them to me, he gave them to me, um, and I'm, I'm going to order a whole heap of that, I'm going to see if he can do one litre bottles for me. Speaking of one litre bottles, I've still got more hot sauces to do, the next one I'll do will be um, one from Australia. Um, and I keep saying I'll do that, and I haven't done it yet. But I've got to start making videos, guys. I'm off work today. They they um, they didn't need uh, a full fleet, hundred million trucks. I'm an owner driver, but I'm a contractor, and um, they didn't need because uh, we've got rain today, and I own a concrete truck, so you know. Anyway, so there you go. My 90 kilo English Mastiff, purebred English Mastiff, thinks she's an all black. She's cracked two of my ribs. Uh, I've had man flu, um, and uh, <laughs> uh, I'm also depressed too. My depression's coming back, um, but I'll I'll deal with that. Um, as I say to everyone that I talk to, um, I'm open and honest about my depression, um, and I'm a big advocate for men to talk about depression. The worst thing you can do is bottle things up, and I tell people don't be a pressure cooker because um, pressure cookers eventually explode. <laughs> so I always talk about my depression and get it out. 
um, and get it off my chest. And I encourage men to do the same, all men to do that. Not that women don't get depression, but um, men seem to bottle it up and uh, more. So, um, and I know why I'm depressed, I've been depressed lately. Um, but, um, and I'm open and honest and transparent about everything. Um, but this is not the right place for that right now. And maybe later in another video. Um, but yeah, again, shout out to Shannon Morland. Uh, Thomas O'Shaughnessy, you legend. Thanks for the birthday presents, mate. And uh, Lee Grimshaw, mate, keep making that sauce because it is next level fantastic. That is the best sriracha I've ever had in my life. I mean, guys, I've done 20 minutes and 51 seconds of boring the crap out of people. So please like, share and subscribe. Leave a comment. Hit the uh, notification bell so you don't miss a video. Um, but yeah, leave a comment. Let me know if there's anything in particular you want me to have a go at. And if I can get it, I will do it. I'm still trying to find Sir Strami. <laughs> and if I can, I am definitely going to have a crack at it. I know I'm going to get the can open. No, no doubt about that. As far as it going in there, I don't know. We'll see what happens. If I can get hold of some. Anyway, guys, please have a great day. Please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you soon.